What's up guys, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at EFTE Metabone Speed Booster Adapters to figure out which one's gonna be right for you. The three that we're gonna look at are the T-Cine Ultra, the T-Ultra, and the Ultra. But before we look at what's different, let's take a look at all of the similarities. They all have a speed booster element, which is a glass element that reduces the crop factor of the sensor and increases the amount of light passing through the lens to the sensor. They also all have contacts that communicate lens data with the camera. There's a button for changing operational modes. And then lastly, they're all gonna be compatible with the same lineup of cameras and lenses. Now for what's different. The T-Cine Ultra version and the T-Ultra have a felt lining on the inside to help with internal reflections. And the T-Cine Ultra also adds in an in-body image stabilization on off switch and has a heavy duty locking mount, which is really great for larger cine style lenses. These slight differences are all factored in in the cost of each of these adapters. The T-Cine Ultra is the fully featured one, so that has all of the features that we've talked about. The T-Ultra has all the same features as the T-Cine Ultra, minus the heavy-duty locking mount and the IBIS switch, so it's slightly less expensive. And then lastly, the base model, just the Ultra, has all of the basic features minus the locking mount, felt lining, and the IBIS on-off switch. So this is just a quick comparison from the basic model to the mid-range smart adapter, all the way up to the high-end cine adapter. Hopefully this helps you understand a little better which one's gonna be right for you. If you wanna try out any of these adapters before you go and purchase them, head on over to lensprotego.com or lensrentals.com and use the promo code META15 to get 15% off any order that has a Metabones on it. And that's the entire order, not just the Metabones. There's also gonna be some links in the description below if you wanna learn more or rent any of these adapters. And let me know in the comments if you have have any questions. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.